Hey, Doc. Einstein, here, boy. Yo, Doc. Marty, we've got to get back to the future. Uh, Doc, I think we're already there. Great, Scott. You know, I'm kind of bummed. We never got around to building that hoverboard. You're right, Marty. We'll have to build our own. Far out. Materials for this prop include cardboard, two detergent bottles, two dowel rods, a handsaw, pink, neon green, forest green, yellow, white, and red duct tape, pink, purple, black, and red acrylic paint, paper towels, scotch tape, a red pen, several small paper plates, cardstock, scissors, an exacto blade, and a pen or pencil. First, draw and cut out the shape of your hoverboard. If your cardboard isn't long enough, you'll need to cut in sections. My board is 30 inches long and eight and a half wide. Fold the back three inches of the board upward. You'll need two sets of the templates. Cut two dowel rods to 24 inches each. Duct tape your template pieces together. Use an X-Acto blade to cut the angled pieces out of each of the two detergent bottles. Remember to exercise caution when using an X-Acto blade. This angled area is what we're looking for, and we'll need to. Lay the plastic pieces at the point of the fold on one template so that the angles match up. Place the dowel rods on top. Duct tape the dowel rods and plastic pieces in place. The plastic will help hold the tail in place. Lay the second template on top and duct tape it to the first. Wrap the entire board in pink duct tape. Roll out a length of paper towels and using pink paint, brush a very thin coat onto the surface. Cut the piece to form the circular edge and place it on the board. Repeat the process for the rest of the board, leaving a half inch of the pink duct tape exposed on each side. Use scotch tape to tape down the edges so the paper towels don't move while you work. This is the part where I can only guide you so far. You'll need to find a picture of the hoverboard and replicate the design. I used duct tape rather than paint because it gave me nice straight lines and I didn't have to worry about waiting for the paint to dry. I can at least tell you the order to go in. The video won't always match because I was also learning as I went along. Lay the green lines down first. To get the narrow look, I cut the duct tape in half first. Next, lay down a layer of the white at a slight angle and cut away the excess. Over top most of the white, lay a strip of yellow and cut away the excess. Repeat this process for a second yellow strip. Cut a strip of white in half, angle it next to the yellow piece, and place a pink strip over it. Cut away the excess. Repeat the process next to this first pink segment. Fill in the corner with one final bit of white with yellow on top. Repeat the process at the back of the board with a layer of white followed by a layer of pink. And again, line the corner with white followed by yellow. Use a bottle cap with an inch and a half diameter to draw and cut out a circle on cardstock. Use the circle to draw a second, slightly larger circle. Cover the smaller circle in red duct tape and tape it to the larger circle. Tape the piece to the front of the hoverboard. Draw the words hoverboard onto the two central yellow pieces in red ink. Be careful not to let the ink smear. Cover the entire board in clear packing tape. Be mindful of the ink and don't smear it as you lay down the tape. Cut away any excess tape. Take a paper plate and use it to trace two circles on cardboard. Cut the circles out and tape them together with a dark green duct tape. Cover the entire piece. Draw another circle on a piece of cardstock and draw this shape within it. Cut the piece out and cover it in the light green duct tape. Cut away the excess tape. 
tape the light green piece to the dark green piece and use adhesive foam squares to attach the whole thing to the hoverboard. Tape two strips of pink duct tape back to back and use a shoe to figure out the length to cut it to. Tape the piece to the light green piece and then recover it with light green tape. Flip the board over and repeat the process with the paper towels for the length of the board. Cut and place the thin green duct tape strips first. Place the white strips of duct tape and then two pieces of pink over them at the front of the board. Repeat the pattern at the back of the board. Cover the back of the board in packing tape. Take two paper plates and paint the curved edges black. Using another couple of plates, cut off the edgings in four inch pieces and paint them red. Using a paper plate as a template, draw this design so that the edges match the length of the red side pieces. Next, use the paper plate to draw this design so that the edges again match the length of the red side pieces. Draw two of each template on a bit of cardboard and cut them out. Paint the cardboard pieces red. Use adhesive foam squares to attach the red side pieces to the black rimmed paper plates. Cut foam squares in half and use them to attach the paper plates over the pink stripes on the hoverboard. Use adhesive foam squares to attach the cardboard red pieces between the paper plates as shown. Place the outer red cardboard pieces as shown. Draw a rectangle 3.5 inches by 3 inches wide with grooves in reverse sides as shown. Cut out the design and make two more template pieces. Cut off the grooved sides of one template. Paint these pieces and the two remaining templates purple, paying attention to the sides as well as the surfaces. Use adhesive foam squares to attach the groove pieces on either side of the red cardboard pieces. Attach the second template on top and finally the third template, purple surface up. And there's your finished hoverboard. Great, Scott! Looks the time, Ken! You've gotta go! 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 Oh, this is heavy! Wade has nothing to do with it! <laughs>